So hey guys, it's Trahana100 and welcome to this review. This time we have The Last of Us and The Last of Us is an awesome game that I'm going to show you right now. So this game has gotten good scores across the board everywhere. This is a beautiful, great story that I'm proud to present to you and will do my best to justify. The Last of Us actually came out on the PS3 and it's an action adventures horror survival game. The game was developed by Naughty Dogs who made, you know, Uncharted, it made Crash Bandicoot. It is a great developer and it's out on itself again with one of the most well written story for games, good great gameplay, great action, everything. This game is something that everybody should play and I'm saying that right off the bat, you know, without going in details. This game is great. But what makes it great? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you about. Well, when it comes to the setting, uh, The Last of Us takes place in the United States. It's been 20 years since this spore-like infection rapidly spread across the globe, wiping out most of the humanity. So it's warping its host's brain, and they're pretty much turning them into these deadly predators capable of killing with a single bite, uh, also called the infected. The majority of the po world's population has been reduced to either struggling survivors or infected mutants. So Joel, uh, Joel is a single father living in Texas with his 12-year-old daughter Sarah, and in the early hours, uh, you know, uh, on his birthday, a sudden outbreak of a mutant... mutant... <sighs> Joel is a single father living in Texas uh, with his 12-year-old daughter Sarah. Well, on his birthday, um, a sudden outbreak of the mutant uh, fungus ravages the United States and it changed uh, its human host into violent monsters. And Joel, his brother Tommy and Sarah flees the chaos. Sarah is shot by a soldier and died in Joel's arms, which is one of the most dramatic and, you know, I started to cry. And that was, you know, in the 15 first minutes of the game. Uh, and then we skip 20 years and we get to see what has become of civilization. And what has become of the civilization is that most cities have been destroyed by the infection, um, you know, with survivors trying to get everything uh, from everything they need to survive. And we also have these quarantine zones, which is heavily, you know, guarded by police. Uh, and if you are, you know, caught being infected, then you will be killed on the spot. They have to check people, you know, if they are, are being infected, because if you are infected, there are no way turning back. You will turn into one of them unless you die. Uh, and this also makes for some really, really, you know, tragic scenes, you know, uh, the game itself is really alive that way because we can see people on the streets, you know, getting shot, and that is really terrifying to look at. So just go back to the story. Uh, what has happened is that we start the game in Boston. Uh, Joel lives there in one of the quarantine zones, working as a smuggler alongside his partner Tess. Uh, so they hunt down this local gangster Robert, and what happens is that, you know, trying to recover their stolen weapons from them, there is just a problem, you know, uh, because he traded them to the Fireflies, and that is pretty much the resistance group of the story, you know, we have uh, the police, the government, and then we have the Fireflies, and they are pretty much, you know, trying to work against the authorities. Joel and Thess encounter the Firefly's leader, Marlene, uh, who promised them, you know, th um, their stolen goods back, but they have to do something for her, and that is smuggling a teenage girl, Ellie. And they have to get her outside the quarantine zone and to one of the Firefly's base. I don't really want to spoil the story for you guys, you know, beyond that point, so I'm just going to leave it at that, and you can imagine, you know, the bond between Joel and Ellie. Um, getting pretty close, you know, it almost becomes like this father and daughter relationship. And in my opinion, Ellie is an awesome girl. She's well written and you always believe in her, uh, that she's, you know, this teenage girl who's thrown into chaos, pretty much. That's really one of the, you know, the pushing points of the game, and that is Ellie and her relationship with Joel. And just to say it, the game is beautiful, the animation, the voice acting, everything is really well done. Um, so in that regard, you get top, mark, top marks all the way. And Joel, you know, he's re really just trying to do his job, you know, trying to do the job he's set up for. Um, even though they encounter problems, of course. You know, what is a game without problems? And what is a good story without problems? Uh, so during the story, we have to, you know, fight the mutants. We have to fight different kind of them. We have to scavenge weapons. Every bullet counts. 
and you really feel like you are in danger all the time. We also have to fight, we also have to fight the police, we have to fight uh, the government in general, we have to fight other survivors. This game is never out of things to do, and especially, you know, that we have all these kind of different enemies, they all behave differently. You know, when you hear the sound of a clicker, also one of the mutants, you will be scared, you know, you will be looking around for it, because that thing will kill you instantly if you don't find it. And also we have this interesting multiplayer. Uh, the multiplayer ties well into the single player when it comes to gameplay. It's really easy to understand, it's hard to master, and it's fun. Uh, it's not really that deep, and you know, you only got so many times before you get bored of it, but as you're playing it, it extends the lifetime of the game by quite a bit, and it will be something that people will play for fun in the coming months, and probably until something else comes around. So now that we come into the verdict, what do I think about The Last of Us? The Last of Us was a brilliant game. I think The Last of Us is something that we should look forward to. It's uh, something that will bring us into the future and Naughty Dog has done a great job by creating this world, the characters, the story, the gameplay. Uh, I can't see a reason for not giving it a perfect 10. A perfect 10 is something I give just games, I give them the games that deserves it. Games that we will uh, compare other games to in the future. I can't see a reason not to give it a perfect 10, so I will give this game uh, a perfect 10. Uh, and that is 10 out of 10, by the way. And I hope that people will, you know, uh, look into it, play it, buy it, support Naughty Dog, because they are great developers, some of the best on in the Sony's uh, lineup, and they have done an amazing job on this game. I can't wait until, you know, the next game they make. I probably think it's Uncharted 4, so I can't wait for that. Uh, and this, this has been my review of The Last of Us, and I hope you can see you guys later.